Mitch, you also singled out Maliko Olabi Belawu, I think, after this game. And, um, you know, obviously a lot of familiar faces in this Forge team, but who impressed you most from that group? Yeah, I think first and foremost, like you said, Maliko Olabi Belawu. Um, we saw him go up against Cade Cowell uh, in the CONCACAF Champions Cup and, mm -hmm. you know, able to do a, quite a good job on him. So he gets to go up against Ali Moussi, you know, one of the premier attackers in, in the Canadian Premier League to, to start this season and does a fantastic job on him, I thought, you know, really limited him um, in terms of what he was able to do. You know, he had some issues with playing the ball to the back at times. You know, he, gave, he gifted it to Moussi one time and then he goes and kind of manhandles him and takes the ball right back. So there was, there was a lot of those, a lot of last second interventions from uh, Malik Olabi Bellu. And a great, another great quote from, from Bobby, um, who was a quote machine to start this season, was, you know, Malik's a guy who just loves to play defense. Like, that's not something that we see mm -hmm. that much in, in modern football, where there's so many, you know, every fullback is a wing back, is all of a sudden a winger. Every center back, you know, turns into John Stones, goes into the midfield, like, um, you know, even if you ask Alex Ashton Yodi Johnson what position he is, he will never let you say just central defender. He always wants to be a midfielder a as well. So <laughs> you've got Malik beside him who really loves this center back role, really loves, you know, sticking in those tackles and making the, the those big plays. And in a match like this, that, that was huge, especially when Forge started a little bit slow and, you know, did afford Calvary some opportunities to have someone who was able to, to, you know, make those interventions was big. So like Tim, mm -hmm. Daniel Parra, what a player, um, a really great ad can invert uh, centrally and did a really good job of that where, you know, they drag the the fullback out wide with Benny Betty Bonga and then just play a quick ball and Parra was able to, to run through those channels. So uh, another player to, to like, and then that Borges Betty Bonga um, combo. And, and a lot of these attacking combos are starting to click a little bit. We saw it on the goal and that's exciting if you're forged for sure. Yeah, I think so, man. Para is an exciting player, uh, yeah, young, absolutely. obviously Mexican pedigree, um, and you know, again, kind of fills the exact position that Forge needed in this off season. Um, it, kind of an interesting role for Tristan Borges, I think, in this game. I, I think he kind of a little bit, a little bit more central at times, but again, he's a, a very good creative player, um, and he's a guy that if they can get him firing this year, uh, he he could be very, very dangerous. We know how good he was, uh, you know, a few years ago in this league. We know that last year was a bit of a frustrating one for him. You know, there were injury issues and then form issues. He couldn't necessarily lock down a spot in the team. Um, obviously, it, he came through in one moment when it mattered quite famously. Um, but for him to get off the board immediately, or on the board, I suppose, immediately in this year is very, very good news for Forge. 